single arm high pull, starting off in a deadlift position with our focal point forward, shoulders above our fists, shoulders also above our hips and hips above our knees. As we get ready to explode up, we're gonna drive this weight up, standing tall or even giving a, a somewhat of a jump, powering up, making sure we have hip extension. As we're driving the weight up, we're not gonna start bending our elbow until the weight or the object that we're using has reached about our hip area. Once it has gotten to its highest point, we're gonna return it to our hip area, standing tall, and then drop our hips back down into a deadlift starting position. Fly, starting out with our palms facing away from us. If we're holding a jug or dumbbells in our hand, we're gonna extend them out in front of us, right in front of our shoulders with a soft elbow bend and then return them back down to outside of our hip area under control. single arm row. Now it's important to keep our focal point forward and our back flat throughout this movement. Our shoulders are going to be positioned slightly higher than our hips. We will start with our fist beneath our shoulder and then pull our elbow back up towards the middle of our back, squeezing our back with a nice hold at the top of the movement and then returning the weight back down to the floor. If we choose to use a resistance band, we can put it underneath both of our feet and use both arms at the same time. Again, squeezing your back like someone's hand is in the middle of it, maintaining a flat back throughout the movement and our focal point forward. We have a few options here for you in case you don't wanna put the pressure on your wrist. But we're gonna start it off with a bench dip so our hands are slightly outside of our hips, fists facing the same way we are facing, making sure our feet are flat and we're keeping our hips as close to this box as possible. We want our shoulders to stay straight above our hips. We don't wanna shift out away from the box. We wanna make sure our weight is going up and down. Be careful if using a chair, make sure that chair is sturdy. Otherwise you can use a couch as well. Remember, in our downward movement, we really don't want our shoulders to go beyond our elbows. An alternative is an overhead tricep extension, placing whatever we're using, extending our arms above our head. Side plank, starting off in a modified position with our weight distributed between our forearm and our knee. Now, our elbows should be beneath our shoulder and our hips slightly offsetting our shoulders and our knee. Then if we want to take it up to a full side plank, we can just separate our feet and pick our hips all the way up off the ground and maintain that position. Another alternative from our modified position is just taking our hips up off the ground and then returning them back down to the floor, up and down under control. Floor to floor, starting flat on our back with our legs bent, taking our arms from above our head that are touching the floor and reaching forward between our feet as far as we can. As we go back to the floor, go back slow and under control, extending our arms all the way out and then using that momentum from our arms as we go forward. Thank mm -hmm. you.